He had the HDMI booth here at Computex 2018. So, uh, what's the latest? Well, the latest we're showing off here is the HDMI 2.1 specification that was uh, released end of last year. And I'd like to show you the first HDMI 2.1 product, the Xbox One X. And we have one of our friends here, Pavam from Microsoft. So how is it possible that it's HDMI 2.1? So they, there are features that are part of the 2.1 spec that can be uh, added to products that were ultra HD capable uh, through firmware or other mechanisms. And so that's one of the very interesting things about HDMI 2.1 that people don't know about. They think you have to have the faster bandwidth uh, to go beyond 18 gigabits per second. But that is not true. You can do a number of features that we'll talk about here uh, over the ultra, on Ultra HD products. So please, come on over. Hi, so who are Hi. you? Hi, my name is uh, Pavan. I'm a system engineer from Microsoft, working on Xbox. So uh, this is the uh, famous Xbox, the latest one? Yes, this is the uh, um, Microsoft Xbox One X. Millions of people have this one. Right, yes. Uh, so we are uh, planning, uh, supporting some of the new 2.1 features, uh, the VRR, which is the variable refresh rate. So and if you look at there, uh, uh, so you have this this functionality right here? Yeah, we support this functionality right now. Any and of the other ones? And uh, auto low latency mode. So this is the game mode, which is like really helpful for gamers when you're playing, switching between media and game content. So users can have that seamless experience when the source and the sync can communicate and switch to a game mode automatically. Can we see how it looks? Uh, actually, uh, the, the sync supports it, so when you're playing a game, you can actually see a significant difference in the lag, but there's no demonstration which pops up saying it's already in the game mode. What I can show you is uh, saying that the TV supports uh, FreeSync at this moment. Nice. You understand the Chinese? Uh, no. <laughs> no? I guess. Uh, yeah. So this is a Samsung that has uh, a Samsung TV that support free sync. sync. Yeah, free sync. Free sync, which uh, uh, which means how big is the lag? How small is the lag? Uh, it depends upon the uh, TV. So from a uh, manufacturing perspective, you can see a lag. Uh, in few frames, six to seven frames, or like 20 to 40 milliseconds. It depends on the range. Uh, I don't have the numbers for this TV at this point. Can you play a little bit? Uh, sure, yeah. So this is a game playing uh, VRR, uh, Wolfenstein. Like when VRR is enabled, you can see like there's some frame, frame stuttering and uh, lag. But with VRR turned on, uh, you can see that disappearing. And. Uh, uh how is it possible that this this hardware could just be updated like that? What's the part of the hardware that can be updated? Uh, this is all in the HDMI protocol, so uh, we are actually uh, updating the metadata to support um, VRR. Uh, and auto low latency mode is uh, something again in the protocol when the source reads the sync's needed and it looks at the bits and if ALLM is supported it sends out uh, information so that it can switch to game mode. So uh, this functionality has only been available for PC monitors, right? Until now. Right. Until now, only for PC monitors uh, with HDMI 2.1. Because um, uh, 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 yeah, sorry. But so uh, so now this is just like a feeling that all the Xbox players are like with that TV. With the, right. How many TVs have this? Uh, this is actually the first prototype that Samsung has come up with. Uh, probably they'll announce more TVs that um, uh, that, that are going to be in the market soon. Hopefully the next gen of all TVs will next generation. have it. Yes, yes. And uh, so that means the consumers don't quite experience this yet. Exactly. So they should see start. They should start seeing products uh, in the market soon. But you can see that uh, all these features have this uh, combined features have this uh, reduced lag, so that they can start experiencing better gaming options. Uh, um, what does it say here in Chinese? Uh, so, that, that, so how about all these other stuff? That's not something you can just magically add, right? Yes, some of the features needs uh, silicon, which can support up to uh, 48 gigahertz. So if you want to go up to 4K 120, you need a uh, silicon which can support that. And the Xbox doesn't do 4K 120 anyways. Uh, right. Not, not yet. 
not yet, but uh, we have the capability to support that in the future. So we might see uh, content which is like supported, but supported at 4K 120 in the future. What is it now? Right now it's uh, sending at 60 frames per second. 4K. 4K. 4K 60. 4K 60. How about HDR? Uh, it does support HDR, but there is no dynamic HDR co content which does dynamic HDR. But as and when um, content is available, we can send it over a firmware upgrade, and then the console should be so able to support that. So that can be added too, right? So yes. then you have uh, those two? Uh, and how about the other? Any chance you can do the audio stuff? or? No, eARC is not supported at the moment, because we need a HDMI 2.1 feature for that, which is not firmware upgradable. Yeah. And the quick media switching, do you have that already? Where you... No, uh, quick media switching is not implemented yet. Uh, but uh, to give you an idea, it switches from a base refresh rate of 60 or 120 hertz all the way to media rates, which is 24 hertz. All right. Uh, you're not doing 10K yet? No. Uh, and uh, you, you don't need to do a 48 gigabit per second for this to work, no? Just right. a regular right. 18 gigabit? Re regular 18 gigabit is fine. Nice. Uh, nice. So that's really cool that people, uh, the millions and millions of uh, customers who have this yep. will just get it. Right, exactly. That's amazing. That's amazing, yep. People should, uh, should experience better games going forward. Nice.